Hello everybody and welcome back to Pikmin 2. In the last episode we finished exploring the Bulbax Kingdom and we uh, got a lot of treasures. We repaid actually 50 half repaid half the debt actually so maybe making a lot of progress. And we also got the blue Pikmin. So now I'm gonna go to the Awakening Wood probably for the last time to finish it up. I believe there's only one more above ground treasure and then one more cave. I'm gonna go ahead and get right to work because there's a good bit to do. Okay, right off the bat, let's get out some white Pikmin. I need. I actually need a good bit. I'm gonna actually get out 20 whites. And that is a lot. But you'll see why. I say get out. Uh, uh, 15 purples? I think 15 purples. I think 15 purples is fine. Okay. How many reds do I want? I think I just want. No, I think I just want 20 reds. You know, some yellows. Yeah. And then the rest are gonna be blue. Come on, guys. Alright. Right off the bat, I wanna go ahead and get some nectar, because I wanna make my blues into flowers. So those are gonna be pretty slow. If I can get some nectar. Come on, seriously? There we go. I could have done a much better job of swarming them. Nonetheless, we got it all. Nice, okay. Okay, before I do anything, I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna touch this dandelion. Hello. I'm actually gonna get you. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna touch this dandelion so it gets added to the Piclopedia. Okay, because we got the seeding dandelion, but the regular dandelion is actually different. I'm gonna kill these guys because they might get in the way later on. Okay. Come on, purples. We got a lot of work to do. Got to go over this bridge. There's a good bit to do. Yeah, this whole other half on this side don't really need to worry about ever again. Now it's over on this side. I came up. I looked at this area a little bit ago, but now that we have blues, we can actually get over here now. Okay. I'm gonna kill this yellow Wallywog. Come here, you punk. This is the strategy I use when fighting in the Pikmin 1. I just throw throw a few on and wait for him to come back come back down and when he hits them I kinda just whist in the back. Okay. Build this bridge now. Quickly. Get yeah, this poison bridge right here. This is why I needed a little bit of white Pikmin, because it might take them a little while to start building this. And over there, that is the last cave. And the last treasure is actually can't see it, but it's actually above that. It's above this scale puzzle here. There we go. Wow, you guys built this quick! Good job, boys! Okay, Louie, get everyone out. Actually, Louie, just get the whites. I need them to be separate. Louie, just get the what? No, red. Louie, get the whites. First, I gotta get rid of this Wallywog, because he'll start killing them. Um, no, 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 you come over here, pal. Come here, pal. I just want to kill you. I just want to kill you is all. Because you'll kill all my guys if I don't kill you. 
Okay, and he's gone. Okay, Louie, start building this bridge. Okay, and I'm actually gonna bring Louie with me, because I need him for this treasure. Gotta do a skill puzzle here. Okay. I think I need... Do that. No, 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 guys! Crap! No! Throw him out, throw him out, throw him out. Good. That's a cool little feature right there. The the blue Pikmin were able to rescue the drowning Pikmin. If you throw blue Pikmin at any Pikmin type stuck in the water, they will actually throw them back out on land. This is in Pikmin 1, but it's actually a bit more difficult to pull off for some reason. Oh, crap. Uh... Louis, I want you to... Oh crap, what'd I do? Crap! No, no, no! Rescue them, 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 rescue them! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. How many died? Oh wow, just one? Okay, that could've been not much worse. Okay. I'm gonna stop whistling now. Okay, you guys... You guys, stay away from the freaking water! My god, okay. Louie, throw guys up here. Way down them. Alamar, stop throwing them up there. How many do I need? I need 15, crap. I think I should be able to get this work. How many's on there? 12? Okay, so I only need three more. No problem, I'll just throw three up there. And all I can just throw them up there. There we go. Go carry that back. All right, come on, guys. Which way are they gonna take, though? Okay, now I can call everyone to my side. Okay, crap. They're taking this way. I didn't want them taking this way because there's actually an enemy that they'll pass by first. It's okay. They're right here, so we can just... Alright, I can actually just go ahead and kill this enemy. Yeah, there's a creeping chrysanthemum right here, so you want to be pretty careful. Okay. Come on, purples. There we go. Kill him. Kill him. There we go. Perfect. Things are going really smoothly. I should easily be able to get this day done. Okay, now I want to be really careful around here because... I'm going to grab my purples. It's right around here. Actually, Louie, you whistle everyone first, just so they're absolutely safe. It's right around here. There's a burrowing snaggret! Kill him, kill him, kill him! What? Oh, come on, his health disappeared. Is he gonna die? Yeah, he's dead. Nice. 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 You wanna carry that to the blues? Can you carry that to the blues? To the blue okay, forget it. Okay, I want I want this to go to the blues. I want more blue numbers. Okay, white Pikmin. Actually, you guys just carry that. Anything else I can carry? Blues, you carry this back. Uh, sure. I'll give these to the yellows, because I want more yellows, too. Everyone else, work on this wall. Oh, but first we got to see the cave through the wall. Intriguing. My acoustic sensors are picking up a high-pitched whale. It seems to emanate from the area near this gigantic stump. This large root must penetrate deep beneath the planet's surface. Fascinating. Alright, work on the wall. Hey, slackers, work on the wall. 
Okay, Louie, you stay here with them. I'm gonna take these guys back to base. Man, this day's going a lot better than I thought. Aside from losing the one white pick, man, I mean... Nearly that could've been better, but... Oh, well. Everything else is going pretty good. Yeah, I didn't even need to break this shortcut. Normally, you get bring the blue Pikmin. They bust this rock down. I mean, they break them this rock. The water drains and then you can get through the wall. We I mean, don't really have to, though. Nice. Pikmin number's going up. Very good. Okay, I guess while they're working on that wall, let's build up more numbers. Yellow. Okay. Wait for it. And wait for the yellow. Nice. Yellow guy, you carry that. No. Okay. Blue, carry that. Yellow, carry that one. There we go. That's not what I wanted you to do. Sure, you guys carry all these back. Everything's going pretty good. Alright, it's a badminton thing. 100 Pocos. Air break, what? How did it come up with a name like that? How is that an air break? Oh look! Yep. Meter's grayed out. That is all the above ground treasures for Awakening Wood. So all that's left is, well, just the last cave. Come on, guy. You can do it. There you go. All right, now let's just get these guys back up to the where Olimar is. They should be done with this wall by now. Yes, they are. All right, let's just go meet him. Man, this went by a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it would take much longer. Well, look, we got all the above ground treasures. All that's left is just the one cave. Man, I feel proud about how this day's gone. Well, there's a five pellet there that I could get, but don't really have much time left in the day. Man, it took almost an entire day to get to this point. Here we go. Is this 100, guys? Nice. All right. Snaggerit Hall. Water, electric, and poison hazards. Let's go. Yeah, the Snaggerit Hall, it was guarded by a burrowing Snaggerit. So you can only imagine that there's probably going to be a few Snaggerits here. It's level one. This is when, this is definitely one of the harder dungeons in the game. The game is done holding your hand. It's It starts to get pretty brutal from here on out. Right off the bat, got some male shear grubs. Kill him! And you know how I feel about these friggin' punks. Okay. Keep the purple selected. Okay, and there's an orange bulb orb that's all on, that is facing the front. So again, use the trick. Wake him up. Oh, he didn't wake up. Wake up. Okay, run. Run away. Run away. Come on, purples. Don't get slow. Okay. He'll go back to sleep. And now he'll be facing the other way. So now we can attack him from behind. Which again, is the prime position to attack bulb orbs. It's much safer. Okay. And here we go again. Okay, good, he got stuck. Perfect. And he had a treasure. So I had to kill him. It's a, it's a marble. Quite literally, that, that, that is a marble. It's a yellow marble. Okay, I'm gonna take the rest of the guys up here. Of this cool little tunnel. One hundred twenty Pocos. 
crystallized telekinesis. Okay. Alright, there's one more treasure up here. Now this is a cool little area here. There's a bird feather here. This is the other treasure. And I like this little area that I'm in right here. Notice it's made of wood. And look, there's like a small little hole here. This is actually the inside of a birdhouse. And that's pretty cool. I mean, look, you got the entrance hole for the bird to come in, and that would explain the feather here. That's pretty cool. It's a small birdhouse. Ten Pocos. Leviathan feather. <laughs> all right. That's all the treasures here. Yes. Yep, okay. Now, what you're about to see is not a... is a weird transition. Notice... We're in a birdhouse. We fall through the hall and... Sub-level two? Look at this, it's all bright and sunny. And we appear to be back outside, yet we're still in a cave? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, this, is, this is... This is so weird. I've never understood this. Like, look, we're outside. Like, this is weird. Because we entered the cave, and we're supposed to be underground, but now we're outside somehow, but we're even deeper in the cave? I don't know, these sublevels never made any sense, and they never will, but... Ah, uh, who cares about trying to make sense of the thing? Okay, I believe there's more sheer grubs, yep. Definitely more of these freaking punks. No, no, don't you come over here. You're not invited over here. Okay, there's a creeping chrysanthemum. Um, okay, that didn't work. Get him out. There we go. Oh good, he's stunned. Very good. I have no idea why I'm going over to this area. There's no need to. Hey, there's, no, there's nothing over here. Why am I going over here? I'm just wasting my time. Okay, just be on the lookout for more sheer grubs. And this guy. Alright. Okay, where are the shear grubs? I know there's more. Come out. Now come out wherever you are. There you are. Oh, that's a shear wig, okay. And yes, shear wig, that it that is an obvious play on words with uh, ear wig. That's basically the whole joke. Uh this guy might be in the way when they're trying to carry things back, so I'll get rid of him. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, swarm him! Nice, okay. Sure grab. Nope. Potion? No more nectar. Okay. Kind of wanting there to be a potion, but... Oh well. Oh, here we go. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Good. No sheer, no sheer grubs will live under my watch. They must all suffer. No, 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 no. Don't go underground. Get back here. Get back here. Kill him. Good. Man, I sound so violent. I'm just like, kill him, kill him. But I mean, if you were playing this game, you would have the exact same feelings, because these guys just suck. Okay, I'm actually going to take them to the nectar, because I kind of want them to all be flowers. Well, I didn't get them all flowers, but oh well. And this sub-level is pretty big, actually. How big is the map? Man, that's actually pretty big. Alright. Here we go. Here are the treasures. They're all the way back here. 
There you are. Just cautiously making my way through. Okay. There's treasure. It's a piece of sushi. I don't know what kind of sushi that is, but it looks good to me. Okay. And it's a big old strawberry, which is kind of weird because there's already been a strawberry treasure, but this one's. Well, this one looks different and it's a lot bigger. Okay, they should get this back. No problem, and I'll just. Well, I'll just wait here by the hall for them. We get it back right about now. Now? Now. How about now? Three, two, one, now. Come on. Come on, guys, hurry up. I want to go down the hall. There, there we go. Okay. The sushi worth... Oh, just 40 pokos. Taste sensation. And the other one. The bigger strawberry. 190 pokos. Combustion berry. First one was the Sunsea Berry, that one was the Combustion Berry. Okay. Now we can get out of this freaky, uh, sunlit outdoor cave. Ah, here we go. This is more like it. Dark and scary. That's what I like in a cave. Okay, now this particular sub level is pretty dangerous. I remember what's down here. Okay. Purples. Ah, oh, I forgot about you. Swooping snitch bug, but that's not that's not the threat here. Something much, much worse down here. There is he. There he is! Burrowing Snaggret! On sub level 3. Yeah, this is not the final one. We already have a boss fight. That's fantastic. Alright, kill him. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, nice. Okay. Very. Okay, that's good. However. There's another one! Yeah, they don't call this the... Wow. Wow, okay, that was pathetic. And he had a treasure. Okay, that's the only threats that I was worried about. Now I can get rid of this guy, because he'll be annoying. Yeah, they don't call this the snagger hole for nothing. There are... There's quite a few burrowing snaggers around, so... Be careful. There were just two on this one cramped little sub-level. It's a sausage. 40 hot, 40 pokos. Meat satchel. And that's the only treasure on this room. But of course, there's still a few goodies to get. There's an egg behind this wall here. And I believe I saw some candy pop buds. That's the hall. That's the that's the exit. Well, that's the next floor down. The potion. Okay, it's nectar, but I think I saw. Yeah, there's a candy pop bud behind there. Something behind here. Yes, yeah, a purple candy pop bud. Excuse me, violet candy pop bud. That's technically its real name. Okay, reds. I mean, you technically don't need reds at all for this for this cave because there's no fire hazards. Okay, get the purples. And I believe the other candy pup bud is an ivory candy pup bud. 
Yes. Okay, so I can get more white Pikmin also. Perfect. And what's behind this one? It's another egg. Okay. Might be more nectar. I'm hoping it's going to be another potion. All right. Okay, come on. Now I can go to the nectar and flower all these guys up. Alright, let's see what's in this egg. Uh, please be a potion? I mean, nectar would also be fine, but I would prefer a potion, especially a purple one. Alright, what's in this one? Yes, a red potion! Perfect! Alright, Louie, come here. Do the glitch. Now I have six. Okay, now I can just take them to the per to the. Uh... Oh, there's another. Oh, there's more eggs. Okay. I didn't even bother checking this gate. And that's the exit. Okay. Another potion. Potion. Nectar. Okay. Swarm, get them all flowers. Did I get them all? Ah, oh, sweet, perfect. Alright, let's get off this floor with this... With this freaky bird head here. Alright. I think this level... I think this case is pretty long. I think, I think once again there's seven? Oh, crap, there might be more actually. I don't remember. Okay, so level four. What the heck? Now we're in a very now we're in a metallic environment? Man, this dungeon can't keep up its mind. Just keeps changing environments like crazy. Okay, what do we got? Electric hazards. Oh no, not one of those. That thing back there where my cursor's at, that oh, I hate those guys. Okay, but unfortunately, I will have to get to it in the next episode. Let's get rid of this guy real quick. Yeah. I will have to get to that in the next episode because I'm, I am running out of time. Alright, but we've made a lot of progress. We finished the, the above ground treasures for the Awakening Wood. And now I'm finally in the last cave of this area. Okay. Well, in the next episode, we will continue exploring the Snaggart Hall and probably most likely finish it. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.